Bunny, and it's time for this week's First Impression Friday video. For this week, I had a bit of a Mac attack. If you're fans of Mac, you probably already know slash already hit this collection online. I think it was available like Monday or Tuesday online and Thursday in stores. I do not like to really buy makeup online. I don't know if I've had this discussion with you guys before or not, but especially like eyeshadows and th just any makeup. I can't think of maybe mascara. That would be like the only thing I would be comfortable with buying online but everything else I like to touch it and swatch it and see how it looks upon my flesh uh, so I always wait for things to arrive in store anyway uh, today I will be talking about the Simpsons slash Mac collaboration I feel like I heard about this months ago and I've been waiting for it to arrive and that day is finally upon us sippy sippy I got a couple of pieces. I hope it counts as a first impression. I feel like I use the term first impression really loosely here on my channel. It's just basically I want to discuss makeup-y things every Friday. The first thing I got are the Simpsons nail strips. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the first time that Mac has included nail strips as part of the collection? I bought them this morning and I applied them already. Every single bit of packaging for this collection is so adorable, but I do have a couple critiques. Not like Matt cares about my opinions whatsoever. Let's just discuss really quick. So I know the collection was kind of like inspired by Marge in particular, but it's called The Simpsons Collection. Like not just Marge. I love Marge. I just don't get me wrong, but I love Homer too and Bart and the nail strips like so the packaging shows a ton of different Simpsons characters. But when you look at the actual nail strips, please excuse my fingernails. They're not perfect and straight whatever. But the nail strips mostly just have Marge on them. There are some other characters like Milhouse is on my pointer finger, but mostly you just get Marge. There's like not one Homer or I thought there would be like Itchy and Scratchy or Lisa or Bart. I don't know. It's not that I don't love them because I do love them. I just wish that there was like more character variety on my fingers. Do you feel me? The next thing that I got were the lashes. Surprisingly, at least to me, the lashes were the very first thing that sold out online. And if you're like an avid Mac collector, I don't remember which numbers she said. I think she said that these are the standard 15s. So they're actually just like another lash that Mac makes all the time in special Simpsons packaging. And honestly, I kind of bought this not so much for the lashes, but for the lash packaging, because I kind of thought like when I go on vacation and traveling and whatnot, I thought that I could just like use this as a travel case or a case to store other lashes in. The next thing that I got is the blush and I saw online that there were two shades of blushes but they only carry one in store. That is so frustrating because I actually kind of think that I would have preferred getting the other color which was sideshow something and it's kind of like a peachy pink but they had this one in stores. The packaging is a Adorable. I just could not get over it. And honestly, it is a very nice pink color. The shade is called Pink Sprinkles, and I love the little Marge that is imprinted in the makeup. In this collection, there were two eyeshadow quads, one which was predominantly green colors and one that was predominantly purples. I thought that I would like the one with the purples better, but I did not. It just did not look good on my skin at all. So I got that trillion dollar look, which is the quad of greens. And I used three of these shades to do my look today which I'm kind of proud of. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Do you like it? Even if you don't like it, I still like it. All of the shadows have super adorable Simpson-y kind of names. The very first one is Lisa's Spikes, which is this kind of lime chartreuse 
Isn't chartreuse a shade of green? I'm using it today. I'm not really sure if you can tell or not, but kind of I cut the crease with it. I think it kind of like got lost in the mix today. It is the most kind of electric-y, neon-y kind of shade out of this palette. The next color in the palette is Apple Squishy, and it really is a very candy apple green color. It's very vibrant. I don't have it on my face today. I actually kind of feel like that's the color I would use least in this palette. Oh my goodness. I touched something fuzzy with my foot and it was the cat. Like, do your pets ever horrify you? Like, you just, you don't know they're there under your feet and then you move your foot and you're like, what is that fuzzy thing? Oh, a cat. <laughs> the next color in the palette is Two Dozen and One Greyhounds. And I have that on the inner corner of my eye today. When I swatched this color in the store, I didn't think I liked it that much, but it's probably my favorite color in the palette. I feel like this could work for a lot of different people, a lot of different skin tones. It's a nice metallic kind of shade, but I don't think it's too overpowering, if that makes any sense at all. And the last shade in the palette, which I think like aesthetically, just looking at it with my eyes, is the most beautiful of all the colors. That is Chalkboard Dreams, and it is a very dark, blue color. I have it on the outer corner of my eyes today. It's really kind of like a shimmery midnight blue, but it's like a blue green because I feel like all the shadows in this palette are kind of green. Or maybe that one does look more blue. Help me, I'm suddenly colorblind. That is the entire palette, and that is also all of the different things that I got from this collection. My only other one critique is why did MAC not make a special brush for this collection? They make special brushes for collections all the time. I would have loved to have a brush in my brush collection with a Simpsons handle. That would have been so awesome. I don't understand. I feel like so many people would have bought that. I feel like that would have been like the most sold item, but maybe I don't know anything. Comment down below and let me know, are you a Simpsons fan? Are you a fan of this collection? Are you gonna buy stuff? Did you already buy stuff? If so, what did you get? What do you think? Just leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys and reading your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and for watching today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.